It's time for our PB Health Tips of the Week. Go ahead, Doc. Okay, Rob. We're going to talk about allergic rhinitis. I know I hear a lot of sniffling going on in this studio, um, including myself. So allergic rhinitis is actually a collection of symptoms caused by the immune system reacting to allergens. What are those allergens? Dust, danger, pollen. What are some of the symptoms that people have? They have runny and itchy nose. They have uh, sneezing, coughing, teary eyes. Um, you can have some coughing and headaches. You can get some puffiness around the eyes and some dark circles. So if you go to the physician, what they're usually going to do is prescribe you um, some medication for it. Now there are some there are some tests that you can do. There are blood tests. There there is actually skin tests you can do, but it's usually not necessary. The best treatment is to avoid the allergen. So whatever that is, pollen, dust, or perfume, whatever it is that sets off your allergies. Um, what is the, the best known therapy right now is corticosteroid nasal sprays. It is the best and most effective way to treat rhinitis. But you can also use antihistamines. There's sort of two to three different uh, generations of, of uh, antihistamines. The further the generation goes, like your third generation is usually the best and has the least amount of side effects. Um, you can also use decongestants. There are like pills, like um, Zyrtec, uh, various other uh, pills, and then also you should avoid the nasal spray uh, decongestant that they sell over the counter. Because Afrin. You, Afrin, avoid if you them. use it more than three days, it actually can have a counter effect to make your nose more stuffy. What about a neti pot? A what? A neti pot. You never heard of a neti pot? No. Where, where they take the water and they pour something through your nose and it comes out the Well, side. you know, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I, my, my best therapy that I have has been known to be is the nasal steroids. They usually are very effective, especially when you use them with an antihistamine. And of course, the, the, the next best thing is to avoid whatever it is that's setting off your allergy. All right, well, what, what happens trying. if you're allergic to people? Some, some yeah, people. Well, some people. you know, man. You just avoid I'm allergic to people. That right, last question. The nasal steroids won't show up on my 40 and over basketball league. You know, we take no. tests for that. No, but no, but no, but no, but you should be clear though. <laughs> some people, some people who use the nasal steroids can get um, nasal irritation. Well, I'll tell you what. In their nose. Let's tell you what. Let's move on from these health tips. We ain't got no time.